All right, this is an example project tracking tool that can be used for complex integration projects typically using the SimCloud API. So just walking you through this, the, we, we reference multiple tools uh, that are recommended tools or key tools to use on an integration, a complex integration project. Uh, this tool example actually has four of those tools uh, in it in different tabs in a Google Sheet. Uh, so I'm just going to walk you through this tool. Again, this is just an example. You don't have to use it. Uh, you can use pieces of it. You can use it if you want to. Uh, but you sh the, the, the goal here is to demonstrate concepts that need to be applied or that we recommend are best practices to be applied when you are planning and tracking a project like this uh, to make sure that you have uh, a successful outcome on the project or do everything you can to stack the deck towards it. Um, <clears throat> So I'm just going to go into this actual tool itself. Uh, this again is in a Google Sheet, um, and uh, there's a link to this. It should be publicly available, so you can uh, download it and make a copy of it. You should be able to download it into Excel uh, or also um, uh, download it as a Google Sheet if you want to and share it. Um, there's links to uh, kind of a big picture reference guide, and this is to this article about this specific document. Um, and this just talks about goals of why this document was tracked, uh, uh, created, and then a suggested meeting agenda uh, for check-in calls, basically for project check-in calls that would be uh, typically uh, scheduled and, and moderated by the project manager on a project. Uh, they're coordinating all the resources and doing the project check-in calls and deciding who needs to be attendant in attendance on the calls. Uh, so a typical thing you might do on the agenda. So I'll kind of walk you through a typical agenda. And then the, 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 the pieces in this document is on a check in call. You might just go around to the people there and find out uh, what they did and kind of get a status update. Are they stuck on anything? What they do since the last call? Uh, just a kind of a high level check in how things are going. Any issues that come up, we're going to put on the topics list. Uh, so as things come up, they could say, oh, I've had this issue. I couldn't get at authenticate to the API. Uh, then we'll, we'll pick that person's name and uh, drop an issue on the list. And then uh, uh, as we go through uh, the, the thing, we, we'll go through the project plan. Uh, so going through this um, a folder uh, or this tab, uh, we basically go through the project plan and check on due dates, check on uh, people's tasks and walk through the plan and see what people have got done, what's in progress and check things off the list. Uh, this document is just set up as you check things off and just graze things out. You could then come filter uh, out for all the stuff that's already checked off if you wanted to, for example, just to get a clean list uh, of, uh, of what's done. Um, and uh, uh, so this is just a simple check-in and it's got some collapsible, expandable things by milestone. So in this case, the, the blue lines are major milestones and we might have an owner on each milestone and a date on it. Uh, we might have time that if we're doing time tracking or have a budget that we might wanna track here. Again, this is not to replace sophisticated project management tools. Uh, this is just a simple way to break down a project in a simple task list. There is plugins you can do for Excel and Google Sheets to get start and end dates and Gantt charts and stuff like that. I didn't get into anything fancy on that. This is just keeping track of tasks uh, and, and the overall project plan. So this is drafted by the project planner and then maintained by the project manager. If there's material changes needed, you would go back to the project planner and maybe the technical planner and the solution architect who's really doing the commercial uh, uh, end of the technical plan uh, to maybe revise the overall uh, project plan if you need to. Um, <clears throat> so we go through uh, uh, update project plan uh, deadlines, add any issues to the topic list. Then we review to do's. These are the ad hoc weekly to do's. Uh, so the recommendation is if you have a project, keep a simple to do list. Uh, this is a simple way to track to do's that you don't have to continually update the project plan. If there's material uh, work that that comes out of discussions or these check in meetings that's not in the project plan, then you would want to get those in or if they have schedule impact. Uh, this is stuff that typically are you want to get the list cleared. Uh, everyone wants to get the list cleared between uh, the check in meetings that you have at whatever frequency they are. So you're using this to track to do's. Again, you can you can clear out the the, 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 the to-dos by uh, just uh, uh, running a filter on that. Uh, you add to-dos and select stuff. Uh, there's a drop list 
uh, by the way, um, the, uh, this lookup table uh, just has a bunch of names and all the drop list of names come from the lookup table. So the initial setup of the sheet, now if you wanted to, you just go and add names of different participants that are in the project uh, in the sheet. Uh, but going back to this, uh, we'd review to do's and if there's issues, if there's to do's that are stuck or someone's been delinquent multiple times in a row, you might add that to the issues list and say, hey, Bob, what's going on? How come you're not getting your stuff done? Uh, and then find out and then there'd be to do's for someone to go escalate to Bob's boss to find out if you can clear schedule or get someone else uh, in the project that can execute the work, things like that. Uh, then you're going to mine for additional topics. Is there any process, technical headlines, team related headlines? Is there any issues? The whole goal of the project check-in meeting is to have open and honest communication uh, and be very straightforward. So it's okay to have uncomfortable conversations or conflict. We want to be professional and tactful uh, as you go through and do it, uh, but you're trying to get the issues out. As the project manager, you're responsible for making sure the project gets done on time and on budget and the scope gets delivered properly. And if you see issues with that, you should be the one that's pressing uh, to get that done. So you're holding people accountable and then you're escalating as needed uh, to get that done. So you got to balance that you're working there. Uh, but that's effectively, uh, we've covered the project plan, the topics list, and the to-do list. By the way, when we get into topic discovery here, so um, uh, coming back to the agenda, so mining for additional topics, basically all of these things are check-in on progress to-dos, holding people accountable for what's getting done, and then building an issues list. And then you have a section where you're going to review topics, choose and rank them for discussion. So this gets into an identify, discuss and solve session uh, off your topics list. So when you have a list of topics here, uh, what, what we might typically go through in our projects is we'll just go star uh, the ones. The sheet automatically highlights them. Uh, so if you have a list of 10 topics here, you might start the top three and then go ahead and rank them. That's number one and two and then sort them by the rank and then just start burning down the list. And when you're done, you check them off. And ultimately the topics discussed, your goal is to identify the issue, discuss it, solve it. And the solution is gonna result in someone in the meeting that's gonna be in the next meeting have check, have to do's uh, that they're going to other people for or doing themselves or whatever that's gonna solve it. And you wanna track those to do's to make sure there's clear accountability and you're not just wasting time having discussions that never get followed up on. Uh, so the, the reason the to-dos are in there is to track that. The scribe's job is to make sure that that's getting tracked. That can be the same person that's running the meeting, but it doesn't have to be. It just needs to be clear who the scribe is. And then uh, typically in meetings, you'll be calling out to the scribe, uh, logging the to-do. And then uh, at the end of the meeting, you might recap the to-dos, what the goals are for milestones for the next uh, uh, meeting, when the next recurring meeting is, uh, and then adjourn uh, the meeting. So let me undo the stuff I just did here. A um, couple other notables in this sheet um, is uh, uh, the role assignments. Uh, this is basically a step one tool uh, right at the baseline of the project. The program manager is responsible for making sure uh, that these roles are all assigned properly. They may be working with the project manager or solution architect or other people to make sure they get the right people in the roles or assign them, uh, but they are accountable for making sure all these roles are filled. Uh, so here again, uh, you would just be picking the name of the person. Uh, again, on the lookup sheet, you're throwing names in here. Uh, you're, you're picking the name of the person. You can type in uh, free form names if you want. Um, and it'll let you do it um, in, in this particular sheet. Um, again, I'm not advocating or selling a sheet. Use whatever tool you want. The outcome is what we're looking for here. Of You need to have a clear written assignment of the critical roles and other roles on the project. You need to have a project plan or work breakdown structure task list. You need to keep track of topics that have some discussion. Uh, you need to have some project check-in calls to keep people accountable and moving towards the deadline. And there's gotta be, uh, do we recommend some concept of, of to-dos that has central tracking as you're going through it. Uh, this other tab, you could throw meeting no notes in, or if you're doing uh, video conferences on Zoom or Google Meet or, or, or Teams, you could throw links to the calls, previous calls in if you wanted to. 
uh, as well, which uh, we, we have used uh, in the past on simple project tracking like this. So uh, again, the role assignment, uh, you want to have people name, company name just for tracking. This has the descriptions of the roles. This article here goes through more details on all the roles with video walkthroughs and then links off to specific roles that have their own articles uh, to make sure you understand what the roles are. But these are the roles you can't miss on. Um, and uh, two of the more critical runs are the lead solution architect and project uh, um, uh, planner is their uh, start here. Uh, so anyway, that's the uh, overall tracking sheet and how you could potentially use that uh, to track your projects. Uh, again, just an example to demonstrate um, uh, what the requirement or, or what the recommendations or best practices are in, in, in a simple tool that you could use to get it done. But use whatever tool you want. Uh, just make sure you're accomplishing the same uh, style outcomes as you're tracking and managing the project. Good luck.